Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. For all things Vespa, check us out on the web, ScooterWest.com. So right here I have a 2020 Vespa Primavera 50, 50cc with the iJet motor. And what does that mean, iJet? It's just their newer series of motor. It means it's fuel injected and the head is a three valve design, two intake valves and one exhaust valve. So you've owned this scooter for a while. You want to hop it up. You're tired of going 30, 35 miles an hour. It's time to hop it up. And I'm going to go over uh, three different stages of parts that you could do to hop it up at various price points. So let's start with stage one. You just want to get a little bit of boost. Uh, the way these automatic scooters work is they have a automatic transmission that uses a device called a variator that kind of matches the RPMs of the engine to the wheel speed. Uh, there's plenty of good videos out there on how the Varia works and how to tune them. Well, if you want to tune a Varia, you usually, usually want to use an aftermarket Varia that's got a tunable range. But for a mod that's under $100 to do to your scooter would be the Varia kit. That would be a stage one, the first upgrade I'd do to this scooter. Part number for this scooter is M5111597 is the complete Molosi Variator Kit. Um, if you looked at my past videos on hopping up a Vespa LX50, I show how to install this. It installs identical on this engine. The parts are identical between uh, the transmissions going all the way back to um, the mid 2000s, this motor architecture has been around. So the transmission has had very few changes, even though this is the latest iteration of the motor with the fuel injection the iJet. I would put the Varier kit and you ask what is it going to do for you? Well it pretty much moves the power band over to a higher RPMs where the engine makes a little bit more power at the expense of using a little bit more fuel and a little bit more noise and engine wear. So if you're in a manual transmission car essentially if you want to go fast you rev out your gears a little further. Essentially this does the same thing for an automatic transmission. Um, pretty simple bolt-in thing. You will need some specialty tools to install this, but stage one, first performance upgrade, I'll go with the variator kit. So it's stage two upgrade for the scooter. Say you want to get a little bit higher top speed and the fuel calibration dialed in a little bit better, uh, along with allowing the motor to breathe. Well, these fuel injected scooters, they adapt on their own. They have a closed loop fuel injection system, which means there's an O2 sensor in there. Um, it's pretty black box out of the factory, so there's no adjustability. Um, some people like the old carburetors. Yeah, carburetors. You know, you can go in there and tweak the jets. Yeah, that is true, but I don't know. The fuel injection stuff is just so much nicer. What cars nowadays have carburetors in them? Ha, something of the past. Well, stage two would be a little bit more expense. Um, You'd buy the Digitronic Molosi uh, upgrade kit for, or the Injectronic for the original cylinder. Part number on this is M5518205. Super simple install. You just got to take the glove box off. Uh, there's a couple connections that you need to make. Uh, there's a couple steps on calibrating the throttle position sensor. And you have this air intake tube that replaces the stock one that allows the air box to breathe much better. So pretty much you bolt all these in, what do you get out of it? You're gonna get more power through the whole entire rev range and a higher rev limit around 10,000 RPMs versus um, 9,000 RPMs. So the motor is gonna go faster and re rev higher and make more torque with these upgrades. Obviously if you have a smog test on a 50cc scooter, uh, this stuff does probably make it pollute a little bit more. Um, and use a little bit more fuel. I can't speak for them because I've, uh, 50cc scooters aren't popular here in California. We just happen to sell all the parts for them. Um, but that would be your stage two setup. So the Varier kit and the M5518205, the CDI ignition controller for the stock cylinder. All right, you wanna take it to the next level. You wanna boost the CCs of the engine. So, uh, 79cc kit that's been made for this engine architecture for several years still fits the scooter. Unfortunately, you're going to need um, a different Injectronic 
uh, controller for the cylinder kit. You can't just bolt the cylinder kit on without the controller. I mean, you could, but I think it's going to be held back quite a bit with the stock ignition system and fuel injection controlling system on the scooter. So if you have the variator kit, the injectronic setup for the cylinder kit and the cylinder kit, which I'll show you the parts that are included with it. You got the cylinder kit M3117771 and it's a complete cylinder kit and it's pretty much a larger bore and a higher compression piston, all aluminum. It's got a Nicosil plating so it displaces uh, the temperature a lot, lot better. Uh, includes all the gaskets necessary for the installation and a simplified multi-language instruction set. So in addition to the, the M3117771, you're going to need the controller, which is M5518409. So I would do the trifecta of these if you're looking for maximum performance. Um, there's other things I'm not talking about. There's like an up gear kit. But if you do all these, the Varrier kit, you're probably going to add another 10, maybe 15 miles an hour to the top speed of the scooter. It's going to make it not what a 150, you have to realize there's no replacement for displacement, but it's going to bump it up to a 79cc uh, high performance motor. Uh, it's going to accelerate a lot better, pull the hills, you can ride two up no problem. Uh, all these parts are pretty inexpensive considering um, the price of a lot of the other performance parts for the higher end scooters. Um, and here's the downside. I don't have a video on how to install these. Maybe you guys can help me out. Are you in the region? You have a, a brand new uh, Primavera or Sprint with the 50cc iJet motor 2020 and you want to hop it up, you're tired of the speed. Well, there's only one opportunity I'm going to give everybody. The first one that wants to bring their scooter down here and purchase this set of three parts, I'll do the video with their bike featured in the video. Because unfortunately here in our dealership in San Diego, we rarely sell the 50cc models. 150s, I mean, I sit, uh, we install kits all the time. I mean, I just assign it to all my technicians. I mean, they do, a, I put those kits on years ago was the first times I was installing them. But the 50, not so much. Um, I know other shops, there's shops that specialize in 50cc scooters uh, that just, that's all they do is hop up 50s. But it's something we don't really specialize in. We mostly specialize in the larger displacement Vespas. But I'd love to do a video. Uh, feel free to contact us. Um, you can uh, put something in the comments or you could go on our Facebook page at Vespa Motorsport and send us a message and we'll let you know if you're a good candidate to do a, a free install minus the cost of the parts. So welcome to the new era of tuning scooters. Just plug it in and play. Until next time, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Check us out, subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell to get notified of all the videos as they come out. I don't have too many 50cc related videos. I have plenty of other Vespa related videos. If you own a Primavera Sprint, got you covered for all the accessories, chrome bars, uh, windshields along with the performance parts that we do keep in stock at all times. Uh, subscribe to our uh, channel, follow us on Instagram, Vespa Motorsport, follow us on Facebook, Vespa Motorsport. Robot here.